Okay, people, so here I have a Follis or 40 Nume of Justinian II, and I'll show you how to read it. Okay, so here I have a diagram up here. As you can see, the M represents the denomination. Okay, 40. 40 Follis. Here is Anno, just means year. Here is B, that's the official. Here is Theo, T H E O U, that's a U there. And that means Theopolis, which is Antioch, which is currently in Turkey. Okay, you have a cross up top, that just stands for Christianity. And here, the G I is the regal year, and I believe that is six most likely in Greek. Okay, so that's basically it. The follicles of uh, later periods change up until like the 600s and then the, the denomination on it is, most, is uh, dropped. So here I have the reverse. If you want to look close up. Yeah, there you go. This coin is pretty worn, but I'd say the Detail was um, not really high in the first place. Okay, so if we go out, we have Justin the second on this side and his wife Sophia here. Here we have uh, a cross on top of a globe, and he, each is holding a staff. Okay, and they're sitting in a chair. On the side is an inscription, which I find on most of these coins it's hard to actually find. But the two things I found is um, D. N. Justinius P. P. Augustus, and there's this one which actually makes no sense. So I'm going with this one. So get rid of that. So if we see what it is. So this is based on the previous Roman coins, which Byzantine coins are actually a continuation of. So the D means Dominus Nostor, and this is in Latin, which is of our Lord. And his name, Justinians, <laughs> Justinus. PP is Peter Petriae, which means father of the country. And Augustus is um, AG, AUG. Which is uh, the title that the king of Rome and Byzantine took. And the first emperor of Rome was actually called Augustus. And a junior of um, the Roman Empire, or the successor, is called a Caesar. After Julius Caesar. Okay. So if I can compare it with an Australian 20 cent coin, you can see it's actually a bit smaller, about a 50 cent coin. Yeah, it's in between those two coins. Okay. And I'll just show you close up of both sides. Okay. As you can see, it's centrally aligned, which is beautiful. If you can have a look at the sides, which is going to be, it's just compressed metal, there was actually no rim holding the coin when it was struck. So this one will be coin alignment. And generally the alignment doesn't stand, it's not as it is today, like Australian coins, a metal alignment. Okay. as you can get all different types of rotations on these coins. So that is a follis of Justin II. And these are issued pretty much in this type of design throughout his reign. Okay? There are lots of images on the internet for these, so just have a look at them, browse them, they're beautiful coins. So thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day. Please like and subscribe.